But it looks like she's back in the streets doing hood reporting again. No, 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 ma'am. Absolutely not. Mia is totally unhinged. And honestly, this is spiraling it's now a well-established fact that mia has a habit of getting shall we say creative with certain details of her life often to the point where her embellishments trip her up with funny contradictions case in point the time she had come for her role in the family company after she and gordon were booted out despite years of playing in our faces and claiming they were the sole founders and owners no and you, you are not Shut up. No. Until of course access cards to the building were withdrawn. Shoo. Nah, in season stunt queens does not, however, excuse what feels, at least to me, to be a little unethical for their children. No, because why is Gordon casually dropping shocking bombshells about Mia terminating a pregnancy after allegedly stepping out in their marriage? Or while the cameras are taping with the kids in the next room? And Dr. Wendy Osefo agrees with this take, having blasted the bizarre direction of the Mia, Gordon, and Ink conundrum. Wendy opined about the sensitive nature of Mia. And Gordon's crisis and his thoughtless portrayal on this season. At first blush, when I first was, when I first heard it, I said to myself, I want to give her the benefit of a doubt because my thought process is every mother would do everything in their power to protect their kids. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> as the season progressed <laughs> and actions were taken, I, I have questions. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't stand by the things that she does, as you guys will see it play out during this season there are some things that i'm like if your first priority is this then you're not moving like that. and fact because you don't need a phd to know that certain topics especially once this sensitive require more care and context and just more class and tact two characteristics we found missing with this couple i don't care for this along with how gordon's mental health is being weaponized with little to no context outside of mia's attempts to manage her reputation and how this whole thing is playing out can we just go back to the days of damning allegations of mia and gordon inviting peter into their relationship gasp and call it a day we'll come back to this but for now let's pivot to stacy rush who has quickly become one of my favorite housewives not just on this show but across the entire franchise i'll explain first gag she looks like kenya moore do you see it they could pass for sisters especially since they hail from the same city but while tall is undeniably iconic for her role as a shrewd shade slinging villain of some sort stacy is the complete opposite she brings a softness and authenticity to the table that feels refreshing also her vulnerability doesn't come off as performative or wrapped in sob stories it's been more about showing her true self and trusting that viewers will connect with her for who she is and guess what it's working i've seen people jump online and gush about how intriguing she is her arrival feels perfectly timed to me aligning with the show's lighter more cheerful direction this season after seasons weighed down by heavier darker themes stacy's presence feels like a breath of fresh air a soft spring bloom in a field of chaos they could easily pass for sisters though especially since they are both originally from the same city to me she brings a refreshing softness and authenticity that reality tv desperately needs last year we were talking about Cass Jacobs and Reboot and now here's where we are landing. Love that she's not giving us performative vulnerability or tear-soaked storylines. She's just being her real self and it's landing beautifully. And she's been working that camera all right but I fear that not even her charm has been able to silence the chatter about her boyfriend TJ Jones. Lots of takes here that maybe he is possibly not into her as she seems to desperately want to believe but that is if and this is what the people are saying not me that that is if this is not someone she brought to the show for a storyline allegedly too many people are saying stacy listen to me she won't though because that man has been fine so the girls went on to dig up old footage of jones having a guest appearance on an old episode of sister sister and this is what this man was serving even back then see okay stacy the third thing to touch on from this season so far is the change we've seen in Giselle and generally how her willingness to cooperate and be friendly with the girls has shifted the show into a much much better space a lot of people are quite enjoying this season and I must say that I myself don't mind it this new era brings a refreshing shift in tone embracing a softer lighter and more upbeat dynamic the episodes are brimming with playful shade genuine laughter and moments of friendship and sisterhood that feel both heartfelt and entertaining from Giselle's side it all seems genuine to me 
I don't know. And not only that, but I somehow see her as finally having stepped into a bigger role as the anchoring centerpiece on the show. Like, even when Karen pulled that move of hosting an event at the same time as Giselle honored the memory of her father, she didn't take it to hell. And she could have. I gagged when she called out Karen for displaying mean girl behavior. Swiftly apologized to the girls for kicking them out and explained that her issue was really with Karen and not them the whole time. Gagged Wendy get me now wendy and giselle have been in rocky waters for some time now having clashed like oil and water for years i do love and enjoy how far they've come and how organically they seem to have reconciled yes a lot of it is to save the show and their checks following stricter orders from the higher ups but when they had the conversation about their relationship and moving forward that looked like growth love this for the show but as far as la Dame is concerned i'm a little concerned you know just a tiny little bit i don't know she doesn't seem to be herself this season to me. Am I seeing things? I can pretty much discern that she's been through some recent traumas so far and she still seems to be trying to navigate that. She obviously prepared herself to be on the defense this season knowing that some of these ladies will be trying her around the DUI. For that reason, she's been descending pretty harshly on both Jacqueline and Mia for trying to find opportunities to throw shade at her and the situation. When I say she's not playing with them, casually throwing it out there that Jacqueline's ex, with whom she shares children, has 25 convictions under his belt. And that T excludes Jacqueline from any possibility of moral high ground since she now wants to go around insinuating that Karen might have been drinking and driving even after the DUI. UI. Now, let's get back to Mia. It isn't so much that her stories aren't adding up this time, it's really that they are dragging us along to a very questionable place. I've said it before, the whole storyline about paternity disputes doesn't seem very fair, safe or healthy for their children. It's giving anything for a check, which she obviously needs right now, and also anything for a storyline which she seems prepared to go all out for. Now, those loose details of her getting all cozy with her boyfriend Inc. in the same room with Gordon, with their divorce still underway, yo, there's also Jacqueline in the mix, who some of the girls think is in a perpetual audition for Mia's psychic position. It's a rude thing to say, and when brought up, she really seemed to be offended. What's going on there? We've already gone down the throuple territory with them, with crazy suggesting that Jacqueline might have gotten involved with Mia and Gordon, and Mia later telling Jacqueline to close the legs to married men in season seven great to see that they've now reconciled but it wasn't that long ago that mia threw her to the wolves on this very show and now she's all giggly about how mia is a ride or die i get why their dynamic never fails to raise eyebrows mia and ashley are not the only ones having to navigate a divorce unconventionally this season we have a new entrant serving those ways to ride along newbie stacy who has stolen the hearts of viewers with her refreshing genuine and cheerful personality is also exploring ways of approaching a divorce from a german husband with whom she shares a daughter. They all still live under the same roof and have opted to not let their daughter know about their split until they've really figured it out. And that's something Ashley would know something about, having continued to live under the same roof with Michael for years after initiating the divorce. I thought she had initiated it a long time ago anyway, but it's really that she's been threatening to file the whole time. Speaking of that divorce, Ashley recently made a stop on Watch What Happens Live with Andy with a big update. Well, actually, as of this week, there's a very big update, um, and I will be telling everyone about it soon. At the reunion. At the reunion! Okay. 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 You gotta you, wait! You said soon, I said hopefully at the reunion. Okay. okay. I get the nudge, Andy. I yeah, get the nudge. Uh, I don't care for this. Speaking of situations, everyone is talking about Stacy and JT. Now, a lot of the cast members and viewers are unable to wrap their head around the fact that TJ and Stacy have chosen to remain celibate until they are married. Both of them are devout Christians and they've decided to honor that religious tradition, bringing something we don't usually see in mainstream pop culture, especially reality shows. And I've seen people jump online to pose some questions as to how something like that could still be a thing, especially considering that they aren't exactly getting ready to deflower each other in any shape or form. This is a grown woman and that's a grown man. She's in the middle of a divorce and has a kid. But then again, to be absolutely fair around that chat, a lot of people are talking about what appears to be a lack of physical chemistry between them in their interactions as seen on the show. People are going off on the body language and going wild with all kinds of speculations about what TJ is into. But do you know? Diane, do you know? They both appeared on a recent episode of What What Happens Live with Andy. I thought, okay, this here actually seems like a solid couple. Okay, and I hear the chat and all the speculations, but at the end of the day, I respect their boundary and hope they both find happiness. Where they lose me 
is around the whole idea that the husband is not really fully aware that Stacy has fully moved on and is seeing TJ and that they are in fact planning getting married like the show is on air and that only after those vows will they start getting intimate with each other and that's something Giselle wasn't understanding because in her view one should be able to go for a test drive now it's understandable that the girls don't understand the personal decisions Stacy and TJ have taken but I do love that while there's been many gasps and shade the group hasn't taken it to hell because we know they can do that around here this season of the real house of Potomac has been surprisingly enjoyable to watch overall i don't for a second think it will end up ranking as one of their best by any means considering we've had no iconic moments no quotables no big moments that will surely dominate the questions of the reunion it's been pretty mild soft and muted for the most part but i think that's by design leading up to this season drama and division amongst the group had escalated to where cast members were refusing to film with each other so this is much better the strife got so bad that rumors were swirling of a major cast shakeup, which eventually did come with Necker and robin getting the boots while candace walked away to focus on having a healthy pregnancy away from the stressful environment and now that her and chris have welcomed a healthy boy called jet i can't help but go back to wishing things had played out differently because now we're missing out on that storyline that said the group is really gelling well this season Jazzy has been a good addition along with Stacy, who once more is proving to be a refreshing housewife now prior to the season I really did think that well since the girls have been ordered to start getting along or face the job that their bonds would be fake as hell but so far not really what are your thoughts on season 9 of the real house of Potomac clap back in the comments like and share this video and subscribe to the channel please talk thank you for watching until the end assuming that someone in fact did until next time bye